Hi everyone, good morning. It's Rita from Miss Rita to the Rescue. And today um, we're back to crafting and we are going to be making this really super simple, but so adorable, um, many layered uh, flowers. These are from my one of my favorites again Laurie Whitlock um, and the thing I like best about them and I know you all love paper flowers and so do I but the thing I like best about these particular paper flowers is um, there's no gluing involved this is a no glue project that is completed with using a brad and we're going to talk about what brads are and how they work in just a moment, so stay with me, and uh, we'll do this really simple project. Okay, so everybody, today we're going to be putting together these different um, three-dimensional flowers that are cut from Laurie Whitlock's shop, or purchased in uploaded and cut from them and um, I mentioned in the prelude that we're going to be using this this is called a brad and a brad is basically this it's like a little post and um, let's see if I can get close enough for you to see um, okay so it has like these two little wings or legs that open up in the end and and that's what makes this a no so um sorry a no glue project and um i did cut these from double sided paper uh these actually all came from aren't they just lovely these are uh from doodle bug designs there go and they're from a collection called petite prints um, and the great thing about them is that they have a second side a back side or um, you don't have to use a double-sided paper but I just like the way that it looks um, when you turn the flowers over and then also you could do something like this where you layer uh, one side and then with the other side and create this sort of interesting um, looking flower as well. So to put these together, first you have to cut them out. And um, very simple to cut out. I think there's like sometimes 10 or 12 pieces. And once you cut them out, you do something with it. Um, you, you have to, you, I think you should, you should give it a little bit of, um, dimension and I do that with this my Cricut scraper I hold it between I put the scraper in my hand and then I hold on my left hand I hold the the pedal piece and I gently pull it across the scraper and it gives the dimension isn't that lovely and you just go through and do that with all of your layers, okay? Um, and then when you're ready to put it together, you select the uh, the brad, and you know, brads come in different sizes. For this project, I use this really teeny tiny brad um, because the hole was pretty small. And uh, so then I just, from starting at the top with the smallest layer, I put the brad in and then I worked my way down through all of the layers. And then when I had put all the layers on the brad, I turned it around and then I opened up those legs, you see? And, and it creates a sort of movable, 3D flower, whoops, <laughs> there you go, 3D flower, isn't that lovely? Wasn't that so much fun? I just love these paper flowers and, um, well, I just love paper flowers anyway. <laughs> and This is the perfect time of year to be doing them. Remember that um, 
this file um, because it is a purchased file. Actually, these are all small files that I purchased from Lori's shop, which is shop.loriwhitlock.com. Um, they, I can't give you the design space file for them, um, but I assure you they're super easy to purchase, download, and then upload into design space. So you might want to have a look at Laurie's shop um, if you haven't already. And if you do happen to purchase, make sure you leave a note telling her that, that I sent you. I think she'll really enjoy that. Um, thank you so much for coming today. My name is Rita. I run this YouTube channel and website, Miss Rita to the Rescue. And I would love to have you as a subscriber if you're not already a subscriber. If you are already a subscriber, please feel free to share my videos and also for coming today. I hope you have a wonderful day.